So we're at the Streaky Bay Foreshore Caravan Park now. We got here yesterday, but I think I got sunstroke because my freshly bald head had a massive migraine. So I just set up the van as quick as I could and just laid down. Today is pretty hot as well. That's why I got this, keep me bald head out of the sun. I'm going to go down for a fish now, I'll see if I can try get some dinner. Give it a good crack. We're leaving here tomorrow because it did say 40 something bucks or 36 bucks on wiki camps and we got here and it was 59 bucks a night yeah 120 bucks for two days which was i feel is a bit of a rip off so instead of three days we cut it down to two so i went to the local IGA here and i thought i'd try this drink and it tastes shocking uh, i don't i can't even describe what it tastes like it doesn't taste tropical definitely doesn't taste like a dream Hydrate, electrolytes, aminos, and vitamins. At least I'm getting something out of it. Alright, anyway, let's go for a fish. Alright, so this is Streaky Bay Jetty. Yep, yep. It looks like there'll be some good squid here with a weed. Got me bucket. Just have to do something. I'm kind of lucky one now. I did break this. But I took that off one of my old ones and just super glued it back in. Right, so I decided to change it up a bit. It's just too windy for squid. Cheap, just sinking. So I'm gonna try something different. Let's see how we go. I decided to pull the pin. I'll be out here for an hour. So, always tomorrow. <sighs> Good old South Australia. So we came for a walk on the beach, and I found this thing. I have no idea what it is. I've never seen one in my life. What the hell is that? Alrighty, so we just left that caravan park, going to the next one for a couple more days. Uh, that caravan park, I really don't feel it was worth the money. I don't feel it was worth 60 bucks a night. Like the showers were shocking, there was no pressure in the water, there was never hot water. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it. So this one that we're going to, apparently I heard it's a very nice caravan park. A few people tried to get into there, but they just couldn't. See how we go. We're at our second place in Streaky Bay. This is a lot better. It's a lot nicer. The showers are pretty cool. Uh, different to what I'm normally used to. So they're not cubicles. They're like your own little ensuite. Oh, and I wish we stayed here longer. And it's cheaper. We're on our way to Point Labbit to see the sea lions. So we're just following this map because we've got no reception while trying to follow the map. We just got to that intersection there, or that, where that road meets there. I think we're coming down this road here to where it says Point Labbit. And hopefully we get to see some sea lions and I get to get the drone up and show you. What's this sign say? Here we go. Point Labbit Convers uh, Conservation Park. Sorry, the road's a bit bumpy. Kayla's in a rally race or some shit. I think we're winning. I hope they're there after all this effort. Been on this road for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So, fingers crossed they're there. I think we 
here. So we just got to Point Labbert, sorry about the wind, Point Labbert Conservation Park where all the sea lions are and you won't see it from the GoPro because it's a bit far but I got the drone up. To be honest I didn't even know if we were going the right way. We are just driving and we seen the sign and we just said you know what, let's just go. It's about, the map said 40 minutes from where we are from the caravan park. You're on a long dirt road for a while but it's worth the drive so if you're down in Streaky Bay make sure you give that a look So this is the beach just outside the caravan park here and they've got this island which I find pretty cool. Now this was all underwater when I came before, now at low tide it's all exposed. So it's a bit easier to get around. But it just looks sick like the shape of rock or island or whatever you want to call it. So I've just seen a few people fishing, going for some squid. They got two squid, which I'm absolutely gutted that I didn't get any rod out and have a have a crack at them. I haven't had a good feed of squid for a while. And unfortunately, we're leaving tomorrow. I wish we stayed a bit longer. Now, out of the two caravan parks in Streaky Bay, this one's 10 times better, a lot better. And this one was, if you stay over three nights, you get it for 32 bucks. But if you stay for one or two nights, it's $36 a night, compared to the other one where it was $60 a night, or $59. There's a lot more for kids to do as well. There's a swimming pool, there's a playground, which the other place didn't have none of that. You are closer to the town and you, with the other one but it's only a 10 minute drive. All right, so that concludes our time in Streaky Bay. Now we're just on our way to Sedruna. Not really sure where we're staying there at the moment. Uh, we haven't really found anything that we can stay at. I tried to look at hip camps, but there's not really much there for hip camps. So we're just gonna get there, see what we can find park up van and hopefully do some fishing because I know the fishing there is pretty good. See you when we get there. Alright so we just got to Sejuna Big Four Caravan Park set up just for the night. Uh, we were struggling to find some water so I thought we'll just park up at a caravan park, fill up our tanks and hit the Nullarbor tomorrow. I'm a bit nervous to hit the Nullarbor because I understand that there's not much groceries or I think there's fuel stations. I've heard there's petrol stations on the way. Can't wait to hit WA. Straight from the fish. Bait out, some squid. I'm gonna use a hard body. Now the few fellas down the end there are catching some massive salmon. 
I hope that I can get one of them. Let's see how we go. So far, I'm uh, sure I hooked him. Jeez, I don't know how I got him through there. I'm already found. So we just got back to the caravan park from fishing. Didn't do the best. I got that little salmon, tiny, threw him back in. Everyone else was catching. Don't know what I'm doing wrong. Just don't know. Don't know if the bait I was using was too old. Hopefully there's, I'll have more luck in WA now. Heard the fishing's good there. Heard the fishing's good in Sejuna too. Just not for Breno. We'll get one. We'll get one. One thing I want to do before we hit the Nullarbor is just check my oil. Hopefully, it's all good. Fine. <laughs> That's fine. All right, she's good to go. So we're almost packed up, ready to hit the yellow ball. Come on. We're going to hit the Nullarbor today. I'm pretty excited about it. So from where we want to go, from Sejuna to Eucala, is a five hour drive. So it's probably the biggest stint we've done since we've been on the road. But I'm excited. I can't wait to get into WA. I've heard good things about it. I've heard good fishing and it's just a really nice place. The water is absolutely beautiful. Can't wait. So we just parked at the van in a parking area in Penong, just till we go see the Pink Lake. Then we're gonna come back, hook it up, and just keep smashing it to Eucala. There's some crazy sand dunes there. All right, here we are at the Pink Lake, where half of it's pink and then the other half's like green or... Wow, that's pink. I reckon we get the drone up, shall we? Lake McDonald, half pink, half green. That looked sick. Right. There was a pink lake in Yorktown, but this one is 10 times better. It's so pink and it's sick how you got the two different colors of water and you can drive down the center of them. It's pretty cool. So if you head into the Nullarbor from Sejuna, 
make sure you stop down and see that because that's it's work to stop now time to hit another boy and just keep driving until we hit eucla so we're about three hours from the wa border so we just pulled up took the dog's toilet kayla's making us a coffee we're just going to keep punching it i'm not sure how we're going to do it but we're just going to drive until we say let's just stay here for a bit it is a long drive it's 400 k's of just straight which that makes it pretty hard we just got the music blaring just having a little sing-along and just taking it slow nice and easy so i've been sitting on 90 k's just so we can you know we're not thrashing the fuel it's probably not saving much but at least it's saving something so all right we've officially hit the nullarbor took ages took two and a bit hours just to hit the nullarbor from sojuna and now we got another hour and 52 minutes till we hit eucla it's got to keep going keep driving can't believe i'm finally on the new nullarbor that's some crazy shit and we haven't seen no animals I haven't seen no camels no kangaroos no emus no nothing I don't know where they are I've seen a lot of dead animals none live and well I just stopped at another rest stop we're about an hour out from where we need to be from the border I don't know what they're gonna make us throw out at the border I have no idea I'm guessing like onions and potatoes and um, the cucumbers wrapped in plastic so I don't know if they're gonna make me throw that out probably tomatoes who knows what they're gonna do it's been a long drive it is now five o'clock but I think as soon as we cross the border we go back three hours so we're gonna get three hours back which is good had a bit of a scare so I just went to check underneath my car and it's oil dripping and I just realized that loosened up a bit and a bit of oil is coming out of that so we're in the clear there's no oil leak so we're driving we're about 16 minutes from the border and I seen water and there was a little sign of like a little cliff edge so I pulled up take a look at this Just a little tip for you that are going to go onto the Nullarbor from the SA side. So when you hit the Nullarbor, a few k's in, there's a fuel uh, petrol station, the Nullarbor Roadhouse. That's the last petrol station for a while. So yeah, if you need to fill up, make sure you fill up that one because I haven't seen one yet, and I've only got a quarter and a half left. So I'm hoping there's one at the border. Or just before the border I'm hoping we're 16 minutes away so let's fingers crossed there is one I can't confirm there is a petrol station let's just see how much it is $2.79 shit that's expensive see how much this one comes to eh? 136 bucks for 48 litres. Wow, that's a joke. First animals I've seen on the Nullarbor. Ah, we made it to Western Australia. Now, I'll try to record as much as I can while we're going through quarantine. I don't know if we're allowed to record, I have no idea. But let's just see what they throw out.
So you yeah. can't bring fresh produce and honey into the state? Yeah. Do you have anything on board? Um, you can share if I'm not. Yes, please. Yeah. Just open up your car in the caravan. I've got a fridge in here as well. Just to let you know, but it's just pretty much just drinks. That's just drinks in there. So you got rods with you? Did you bring any bait? Um, I got squid that I caught. No, that's fine. Squid's just no shellfish, clubs, prawns. No, none no. of that. Awesome. So, so how's your road trip been? Long. Awesome. All right. So, onions, you yep. can bring them in if the, the bottoms are cut off. Okay, yep. As for fruit, chilies, tomatoes, that can't come in. Okay. All right. All good. Do yeah, you want to keep your spring onions? Yeah, yeah. yeah um, do I just cut them out here? Or? Yeah, have you got a knife or anything on yeah. Just drop them off and I'll get the bottoms. I'll get the missus to do that. Awesome. Sorry, can we have some oh, in yeah. the freezer as well? Sorry. Oh good, perfect. So we can bring the spring onions, we've just got to cut the bottoms of the spring onions off. So no live plants or cuttings? Seeds of any kind, dried I've flowers, nothing like that? Sesame seeds in the little jar. Oh, perfect. Mainly just bird seed and plant seed. Oh no, nothing like that. Do you keep much food in the caravan? Um, yeah we do. So we just got... All what's in there? Oh, good, definitely no honey on board. Uh, no, we finished that. Perfect. We finished that. Um, and just onions there. Okay, so onions are the same as spring onions. So if okay. you want to keep them, you can top tail and peel them. Yeah. Is that a bag of potatoes in there? Uh, I think so. Yes. Right. They have to go. I'm afraid. No, that's fine. One fell out. Three potato. Um. I'm pretty sure that's everything in there. Just oh, onions. And... Yeah, just those brown onions. Pull yeah. them out as well. So I'll cut these little bits off. Yeah, just, yeah, just they can't grow. Okay. And yeah. with the brown onions, just the, the brown skin off and then the bottoms off. The brown skin. So just those that bit or that and bit? And that bit, yeah. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Easy. Two, you can keep it off. Yeah, um can we do it like here or do we have to move? Yeah, no, you're good, you got no one behind you. You're oh, good perfect. It's better to keep it need it. Yeah. Um, when you're done, just stick the peel in the bins on the other side yep. over there and then you're all good to go. So Thank you so much. Have a good day. With the onions? We can keep them. Potatoes have to go. Spewing about that, but yep, we've right. got to peel the peel the skins <laughs> off and cut the tops yeah. and bottoms. Oh man, that was nerve wracking for some reason. I really don't know why. Spewing, we lost our potatoes. Really spewing about that. Alright, but anyways, we're in WA. Yay. We're in WA. We're in Western Australia. How good is that? After about, I'd say, a month and a bit in South Australia, we're just going to get the Starlink set up because we can't get reception and we don't know where we're going. We're going to try to find a campground, pull up there and see what we're going to do for tomorrow because I'm not really sure if we're going to keep going or stay in Eucla for a bit. I really don't know. I'm just... I'm exhausted, I'm, I've got so much mixed emotions at the moment, I'm fucking excited, I'm tired, I, I, I kind of want to keep driving but I don't, but, oh man. Okay, we're going into like... Alright, so we just found a campsite, it was 11 or 12 minutes from where we stopped to get reception, or to get the Starlink out, I think it's along a beach. Spent our first night in WA. Well, this was our campsite for the night. It's like a desert. So I didn't even unhook the car or the caravan because we're going to keep moving today. We're going to go a couple of hours further up the Nullarbor. I wanted to get as close as I can to Esperance, uh, then chill out there for a bit and then hopefully tomorrow we'll do a couple more hours so, so we're about nine and a half ten hours away from Esperance at the moment so we're still a fair whack away from there but we're getting there slowly just over that little sandbank there is uh, the beach a few campers there not really much there was a lot more yesterday it's pretty cold today it's not that hot it's very overcast. I think it's meant to be about 22 or something today. We're just gonna pack up and start hitting the road again. 
So it's a change of plans. We're going to Esperance today. It's a 10 hour drive. So we, it's, it's saying we're gonna get there at quarter past eight tonight. I'm excited. We're gonna finish the Nullarbor today. Now this place here was a good stop. It's a good place to stop. I didn't really see much of it because I just wanna hit the road and get further up. So this place is called Old Telegraph Station Campground. It's pretty much like a desert, but there is a beach there, which I didn't go see because I just ran out of time. All right, let's do it. There is a servo on at that, just at the border, border village, but it's $2.79 there. And once I cross the border, there's fuel for $2.40. So it is a little bit cheaper. So if, if you can make it past the border, pretty much as soon as you go past the border, it's like, a K in and you hit a couple of servos so if you can make it past the border try fill up there not at border village because it's it's so expensive I think someone's over the drive Not long to go now. Only another seven hours and 45 minutes. Which is a tough one. It's 32 degrees at the moment. It's pretty hot. We just got to Cock Cockapiddle, I think it's called. I'm pretty sure this is the last servo for like 300 Ks. I'm pretty sure it is. So I was wrong. So there's a servo 66 Ks after here. And then I think she said 200 Ks after that. Wouldn't want to get bitten by any of those stuff that. Some weird shit in it. So we just hit the Australia's longest straight road. To be honest, the rest of it felt pretty straight to me. Like that was pretty straight back there too. But we're on Australia's longest straight road. We made it to Baladania. So fuel's a little bit cheaper here. Still pretty expensive, two dollars thirty, but it's cheaper. Now I think this is the last stop for a while. I think it's 300 k's to Norseman. At the survey, they got some sort of museum here. It's the only camel I've seen. This is tough. This is a tough drive. I'm I'm wrecked. It's 39 degrees. We still got we just hit five hours to go, so we've just done halfway. And it's five to four. It's saying we're gonna get there at six to nine. Oh everything's just so expensive on this road. At like nine dollars fifty for a sandwich. Who's paying that? I've become the passenger princess for a bit. Don't interrupt me. Concentrating. I just need a bit of a break. I'm a bit wrecked. We finally got some reception. There has been nothing for fucking hours. Hours. All yesterday, all today. And we finally just hit some. Oh, finally finished the Nullarbor. That was exhausting. Now we've got three hours left till we hit Esperance. Diesel's cheaper, $2.12, which is good. Oh, I'm pooped.
made it. We made it all the way from Ukula, Ukula to Alexander Bay after 12 hours. That was a challenge and a half.